You and Chris are going to be in here talking about God knows what. You don't want to know. Uh, You don't want to. You think you do. You think you do. Don't do it like that. You do it like this. (laughs) You think you want to know, but you really don't. You don't want to know. You don't want to know. Hey, guys. Welcome to the Retro Show Podcast. This is the Retro Show Podcast. We are an homage to all things uh, 70s and 80s, Chris has cracked himself up over there, and he just he just can't quit laughing. And he's going to make me laugh. Uh, it's going to have so. to be off off mic to yeah. tell you the story that brought that that, oh. <laughs> that, that on while ago. It was hilarious because it, it, the, it, the way you looked at me is the same way I looked at that dude. It's like, why would you say something like that? Why? Why? why what? <laughs> what? Uh, folks, welcome to the Retro Show. Uh, I am Butch Renfro, and uh, joined with me by my partner in crime, my podcast co-host, best man at my wedding, and roommate yeah. back in the day, not now, uh, Chris Curtis. Hey, what's up, guys? It's that crowd. It's that crowd again. Man. They love you. They love you. I need to get some theme music to just follow me around. I know. You need... <laughs> You know, if he would just follow you around with with your theme music. You that movie, I'm going to get you, sucker. Yeah. When he had the, the five-piece band following him Follow around. Him and our good heroes. Band. Oh, he's got to have his, his theme his, music. His yeah. theme music. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, man. So, it's a uh, uh, welcome folks to the podcast um if um we're glad y'all are listening yeah we are and we'd really like it if you would subscribe to us at the uh you know wherever you get your podcast uh what I was, the patreon deal the patreon you know, we haven't mentioned that in a I couple just, of episodes i know and that's been i know but when you say three i'm like going yeah let me see them all <laughs> 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 Crap, but, I knew that. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah. Uh, I don't speak sign language. What you a, can't just do that. What okay, a so classic <laughs> film <laughs> reference. And if you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yes, uh, let me go ahead and mention the website, and then I'll get around. So retroshow.net is where you can go to find all things about the podcast here. And including links to where you can uh, subscribe. And some very were. incriminating pictures of us from when we were younger. And yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Uh, bad hair choices. Uh, but if you would <laughs> like to go and subscribe to the uh, podcast, that's 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 what we would love for you to do. And that's where you can do it, retroshow.net. Also, as Chris mentioned, uh, where you can be a podcast producer. Oh, You at Patreon. It's the best show we've ever done. It's the best show we've ever done. <laughs> For a mere three dollars a month, you won't even miss it, people. Three dollars a month, you can become a supporter on the podcast. And what's that mean? One, you're supporting the podcast, and two, we will uh, uh, give you a shout out on each and every episode that we do. Yeah, so the, can, for the first thirty, yes, the first uh, for thirty, the first thirty people, yes, for the first thirty people. Yeah, because, no, it's not uh, like, uh, well, uh, fifteen minutes of the podcast. Well, that's is our show up. tonight, folks. Yeah. <laughs> We're just going to read off all the names. All the names. All of them. How many? Well, there's like 600 here. And we got to read them all because I said I would. Gosh, no, I it's hope, limited. I hope so. It's limited to the uh, first 30 people uh, that, that uh, sign up to be Do you remember when you said we would have tens of listeners? We'll have tens of listeners. Yes. It's what you folks listen to. It's, uh, we need some of that cool... Uh, yeah. Um, so, what is it? Jeopardy theme music? Yeah. Doo, 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 doo. So I posted a question on there asking uh, uh, what uh, movie or TV show scared you as a child. And we did that a couple of podcasts ago, yep. uh, a few podcasts about scary things that we used to to, to, to watch on there. And, and one of those, uh, Jennifer uh, Talbot Vates says, had Nightmare on Elm Street. I couldn't go in the basement alone for years and always ran up the stairs in fear. How did you sleep? How I mean, you sleep? when you went to sleep, that's when Freddy yeah, came. I know. That's when Freddy comes. <laughs> um, 
that whole basement thing that's an Amityville horror yeah movie. Uh, <laughs> Carla Riker Hall says The Exorcist <clears throat> and Halloween now yep. that, one of those scary one of those ah it was fun Halloween was great um, I, I stated earlier I've never seen The Exorcist so what's her name again uh, that that would be Carla Hall. Carla, you're more of a man than I am. Yes. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> watching Exorcist. not happening. Don't need to uh, see it. Nathan Don't Ross said Salem's Lot, which we remember we yeah. talked about that scene in Salem's Lot. Uh, uh, Shannon Cook says The Howling. Uh, oh, wow. You know what? And we didn't you even know, talk about The Howling. We didn't. The Howling that, was a great werewolf movie. It is a great. It's. I wouldn't say it scared me. I just loved it for the. Let me give you a piece of my mind. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Michael. So one of the Clegg brothers, Michael, commented and said, "The Exorcist." Uh, yeah, there. you Clegg and see, boys. I was gonna lie on Mike on this one here, and so as, Michael Clegg as says, opposed to says, the, <laughs> yeah. What I was gonna say is, and Michael Clegg says, "The Teletubby Square," <laughs> especially that tanky wanky one. I don't like him. Um, I know. Uh, <laughs> uh, Christina Kelly says, "The Wizard of Oz." Uh, let's what? See. Wait! Whoa! The Wizard of Oz. Well, you flying monkeys. <laughs> that's one of my all-time favorite. That's, that's one of my all-time favorite bumper stickers. <laughs> Don't make me release the flying. Don't monkey. make me release the flying monkeys on you, because I'll do it. Oh man! Uh, the Twilight Zone movie. That's what uh, Melanie that was Blake really says. Cool. Yeah, really cool. Mel- Melanie, you're right. Um, you know, I, you want to see something really scary? Yeah, that was so cool. <laughs> Dan was, Aykroyd, dude, and that 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 uh, thing he turned into was scary. That, that was, was a big jump scare. That was a jump scare. That was it a big really jump was. scare. Really was, and that, that was a great that was a great one right there. Great flick. So, good choice, man. Good choice, folks. So, th- yeah, interact with us. Uh, Retroshow.net. You can get a link to our Facebook page, and you can go. You can uh, you can you can become a part of the shenanigans. Wait, no, wait a minute. That's a big word. What does that mean? Shen, uh, uh, <laughs> don't ask me things. <laughs> don't, don't, don't ask me is stuff. That Irish? Shenanigans? Is that Irish? That's that's probably Irish. <coughs> <coughs> it's Irish. Well, there's no drinking involved in Ireland. No, totally not. That's a bad Irish accent, right there. Someone's going to get on to me for that. Sounds like Scottish. Well. It's close. It's close. Yeah. No, actually, yeah. It, the, the only way I know how to do the Scottish accent is Mike Myers used to do. In there's a movie called So I Married an Axe Murderer where he plays his dad, and I love. You talk about speaking in movie quotes. He's probably at home crying on his huge pillow. He move now. Move that got a gun to his head if you can. It's oh. like an orange on a toothpick. Oh. Things have Spinical, gone Spinnacle, yet quite pointy at parts. <laughs> yes, when you... Woman! Whoa, man! Whoa, man! <laughs> oh, we didn't just chase the rabbit. We we beat it to death. Yes, uh, we did. So, <laughs> Folks, um, what, like I said, welcome to the podcast. We, we've said it a few times. We're already about eight minutes and 51 seconds into it, and we haven't gotten to our topic You've got to be kidding me. No. So Time I have flies to get, when, you're, when you're being dumb. dumb. Yeah. That's a, now you know how we got through college. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so, uh, And we're going to stop right here and take a break, but we're going to be right back. This is The Retro Show with Butch and Chris. Hey guys, we just want to thank you so much for being a part of the Retro Show podcast, and we'd like to invite you to be a part of our Producers Club. So what does that mean? That means that when you go to RetroShow.net and you click on Support the Podcast, you can be a producer, which helps us basically keep the lights on around here. So for a mere $3 a month, you can help support the Retro Show podcast just like these beautiful, educated, well-rounded, have I sucked up enough, probably, people. And they are Chris M., Nancy S.M.S., Joshua R., Fran A., E. M., Bradford Mason, and Tanya Highland. We thank them, and we love them because they support the podcast. And you can, too. Just head to RetroShow.net and click on Support the Podcast. Meanwhile, back in a podcast we were doing earlier, this is the Retro Show with Butch and Chris. 
<laughs> I wanted to talk MTV. And at first, we're just going to be totally transparent. We were going to talk about the first day of MTV and like maybe the first uh, 20 or 30 songs that they, they, they played. And a lot of those were terrible. So, <laughs> man, I'm looking at this list, and, and and I looked at Butch, and I was like, dude, I evidently I didn't watch a whole lot of MTV back then because, yeah, I know the songs, but I couldn't tell you what these videos are about. Um, that's that's pretty sad. Yeah, it, I mean, videos were new. I mean, that was a new thing. And um, nobody knew that you could just sit there and zone out all night. Oh, I know, and we did too. <laughs> See, well, one thing that I do want to bring up is Vidi is is MTV uh, premiered in like August of 1981. Yep. And, and guess who was in Fayetteville uh, in August of 91 uh, or 81? That would have been your brother. My brother was playing yeah. for the Arkansas Razorbacks, yeah. and that's the first time I saw MTV was in when his dorm room is at MTV. Wilson Sharp Hall. I was wow. like, what is that, Monty? I'm like in eighth grade. Yeah, it's like it's like the radio, but they got they got people playing on there. That's awesome. It's like the yeah. midnight special all the time. It's like the yes, and remember the midnight special? Yes, I do. Oh, it was a great show, man. That used yes, to air in like in the '70s and early '80s, and that was that that was where you that was really the only time that you could see popular music. Uh, Wolfman Jack, hosted by Wolfman Jack, and yeah. so yeah, it was it, it was. Yeah, uh, but yeah, the the cultural impact of impact of MTV literally literally changed how people consumed music. Yes, and you cannot underestimate the impact that it had on a societal level on how music was presented. And right. Well, I mean, the impact it had on music itself because a lot of these songs. Wouldn't have been Jack anything on the radio, but you throw a video you in throw there, a video and in you there. know the video, and that's a cool video, and I'm going, and all of a sudden you love that song. Some people said, and, and this is very true, uh, during the 70s, a lot of ugly people had hits in the 70s. You couldn't really be ugly and have a TV. video hit. Huh? That's, well, I mean, you had like Tom Petty and Rod Well, Stark. yeah, but... <laughs> You, you had to have the talent level to get over that. Yeah, Tom Petty but, had the talent level for but, sure. But, but you know what I mean. It's yeah. A, uh, if, yeah, if, I get if, it. If you go back and you look at videos of some of these bands from the 70s, it's like, man, that guy is is, is as ugly as, as a fence yep. post. And, you know, but he, he had a hit song. But that's one thing that changed, man. When you could see who was singing, oh, wow. You know, that, that kind of changed, changed everything. You know, chasing a rabbit hole. Guys, rabbit holes are just our thing. Sorry. But, you know, the, the the bands that were touring and made it had very much musical talent. Mm -hmm. The one-hit wonders. Yep. Yeah. You know, they didn't tour. They they didn't have enough material to tour. Yeah. You know, so, so that's a difference. Uh, so instead of going over MTV's first day. Like we were going to do, we we Chris and I decided to just talk about videos from the '80s, which was kind of the heyday. Yeah, of MTV. They actually played music videos. Yeah, I was going to say uh, <laughs> MTV. Uh, you know, recently turned you know like like 45 years old. Thank you for 15 years of music, MTV. Yeah. You know, I mean, because that's even about have how long? 15 years. I mean, was it about, even 15? It was, was about 15, ridiculous. and then they started doing you know the. I, I think the beginning of the end for MTV was when they started stuff like The Real World. Yeah. Not and it was all the reality TV. And really, MTV VH1 now, it's a lot of reality shows that I just don't care about. You, you know? know, we talked about that. We, you know, we yeah. made the move to, to VH1 when MTV uh -huh. quit playing music videos. You could go watch what was a hit. I mean, yeah. literally and truly, I, the Spice Girls are terrible. Uh, but their videos were awesome because yeah. again they're like the Go Go's. They they all did music and they were hot. Yeah, exactly. Every one of them. So uh, so I have a few music videos from uh, the the eighties that to me the quintessential eighties videos that just stick with you. And the first one I'm going to bring up is Money for Nothing by Dire Straits. Yeah, that, groundbreaking. That, it was that was actually my senior coming into my senior yeah. in high school and. Um, and yeah, I remember we were playing that. Um, 
I was a DBS big brother and we were doing the rush. Yeah. So the big brothers drove all the girls around in pickup trucks and picked up the, the new pledges. Yeah. And that song, Robbie Joe Holzman, if you're out there listening to this brother, that that was in your truck and yeah. we were jamming. Yeah. That was, that was I, I won't forget that. You got one? For me? Yeah. Probably for me, this will be the pinnacle, but there were other videos, but this is definitely the the pinnacle video for me of the 80s and that was home sweet home motley crew that thing was like number one forever forever (laughs) i mean it was like you know i right off the bat i can't tell you but i can tell you that that motley crew video uh off of that album i think that was 85 no i was in college it was 86 either 86 or 87 one of the two but Uh, it was it was number one forever yeah it was number one forever and it just never it just they never used left. to do the, the the top ten. Yeah, they would do the top ten videos, the most requested videos, and that video stayed at number one for weeks. Yeah, I mean, people just kept requesting because it, it was just a cool video. It was yeah. them, most of them playing in concert. You know, uh, yeah, playing their 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 uh, their concert video was basically right. what it was. Uh, one of the other videos that that stuck with me that the the song that I still love <laughs> it. It, to, to, to this day and, and, and I've gotten to actually be it's one of those acts that <laughs> I've, I've gotten to like more over time and actually artist time in a bottle right uh, no. <laughs> if, if I, I could, could have time, time in, in a, a bottle, bottle. <laughs> please come back come back to the podcast no don't leave we're not going to sing anymore I promise no uh, it, it was uh, Sledgehammer by Peter Gabriel that was a really cool video that is a cool video and I've gotten to now where it's like because and see, here's the deal, folks. I was in radio at the time I was a DJ, and I had to play that song all the time. I Adam mean, Blade. Okay. <laughs> Let's stop right now. We're going to talk about the Adam Blade. So let me tell you about it. So I had, back in the 80s, if, if, if you were in radio, a lot of times you had an on-air name. An alias. An and alias. He was like a superhero. <laughs> Honestly, it was like a superhero. I mean, some people might use the word hero, uh, and, and, and that's okay. Uh, but no, they, they – and so let me tell you how we came up with the name Adam Blade, which by the, it may be the most 80s air name Definitely. ever. And so I me, remember you telling me that my my, radio, my my show name's Adam Blade, and I was like, "Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> well, let me tell you how that came about. What? And me and my program director were were, were 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 sitting around, and he said, "Man, he said we got to come up with a good air name because at the time I was going by my middle name, which is Wes. Yep, Wesley. I was going by Wes Renfro. Yep. Well." That doesn't exactly scream so, rock and roll. Let me let me let me ask you this, and I'll, I'm just to clarify. This was in Hot Springs. Yes. Okay. It was not at K Light. No, at okay. K Light. Yeah, I, I would just yeah. Okay. I, I don't I don't even know if we ever said our names at K Light. You know, oh. it, it was an adult contemporary radio station, and you talk about music to put you asleep. Yeah, I didn't that listen was, to the show at all. Yeah. Oh no. no. <laughs> and you know what? I ain't even mad. You I didn't listen to my because hey, I told you straight up I'm not listening hey, to that dude, crap. But come dude, on, man! I didn't listen to my show. Uh, so, <laughs> it's just, let's just be honest. Now, Hot Springs was pretty rocking. Yeah, that, that was that a pretty was cool rocking. station. And so, and so my buddy uh, is he's a guy, and he may be listening to this. His his, his name is uh, is uh, uh, his. I'm just going to give his air name so because I'm not going to give his real name out because he goes by Don Christie now. And he is a big time radio guy in Tulsa. He's a cool dude, man. And I like he him. was, he's 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 a very cool dude. He, and he gave me my first full time uh, job, <coughs> where I worked for the princely sum of one thousand dollars a month, which back in the eighties, believe it or not, you could actually that was sort a, of live on. Uh, we. We because I made a lot of trips to Hot Springs during that time. Just saying, because my buddy, one of my best friends, lived in Hot Springs, yeah. and it was party town. And woo, come on down. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, we had uh, we had a good time that summer. That was the summer. Uh, that was the summer before I got married. And it was. It, That's it was exactly like, right. Chris is my best man, so he had to come down and consult for the wedding. We did. I mean, there was a lot of consulting. Yeah, there was a lot consulting. of tears. A lot of. Yeah. Are you sure, but you, I yeah. Mean, <laughs> 
<laughs> no, actually, telling Debbie, Debbie, are you sure? Because I know this guy. Yeah, I yeah. mean, well, I didn't say who I was consoling until yeah. I mentioned your name, but I mean, I had to cover pretty good. Debbie, I covered good. I did. I did. <laughs> uh, so you got any other videos that you can think of? Um, I mean, when, didn't I talk about Home Sweet Home? When that you did, but. One? Oh, you want another one? Yeah, give me another one. So, you, oh, you did well, mention, you mentioned um, Dire Straits. Yeah. This is another really cool video. Um, the music is basically, I would consider it almost techno da- dance music. Mm-hmm. But uh, Rocket. Rocket. Herbie Hancock. Herbie Hancock. Rocket. Dun, Have you ever seen dun, that video? Dun. Yeah. It was, it's got it was, the robot yeah. mannequins. I, know. I mean, live robot mannequins, and they've got them hooked up motorized and it is so mesmerizing yeah. and cool yeah An- another one on mtv that that used to make that you know there, there's some videos that you just stop and watch yep whenever you see them and that was take on me by aha dude that was another that was another special effects groundbreaking video oh to this day yeah it's dude, still to this cool. day you can watch that and go that's cool it is cool but you know what you can do that on your phone yeah, you can look at it on like. No, I mean you can actually do that special effect. You can, effect, but, but think it's about not as what cool they had to do back then. Those were hand drawn animation yep. cells. It's really cool. You know, they had to sketch each really cool. each one, and so and, that's a good one. And yeah. guys, I've got a, I've got an eye for the ladies. I do. I just like I love beautiful women. Hello, that, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> that that girl that plays the love interest in that it to me was just beautiful. Girl next door, pretty. Oh yeah, yeah. She was beautiful girl next girl. door, pretty. Yep. She really was. Uh, another one. Uh, oh wait, no, that's fine. Go no, ahead. I just went Go ahead. So, and groundbreaking was Thriller. By Michael yeah, Jackson. man, I was I, that because really it came to t- mind when you were trying to come up with the name for that. Uh, it came to my mind. I was like, yeah, because I, I talked to my wife Cindy about this earlier, and she's like, you got to mention Thriller. Thriller was unbelievable. Well, here, here's the thing about Thriller: it was 20 minutes, and it was a movie. It was a 20 minute mini movie that Michael Jackson did, and it was. Amazing. It was amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> you know, it's like when Michael. Was like, Michael had some great. Michael really, and honestly and truthfully, he probably revolutionized. He the, did the video yes, business. He did. His videos were unbelievable. Yeah, and I, were. guys, I love him or hate him. Michael Jackson was extremely talented individual. Yep. Um, he brought dance moves on top of dance moves that. People are still yeah. imitating. Listen, uh, the first time he did, okay, so the time that anybody ever heard of what a moonwalk was was yep. on the 1983 uh, Motown special yep. on 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 broadcast TV, and he broke out that moonwalk, and everybody's like, "What did I just see? And how, <laughs> how the hell did, did he, do that? he do that? Because we were all like, because you know." It's, so, it's not like DVR where you can rewind it. An back interesting then. side note to that: you put me in sock feet on a tile floor, this hardwood floor that we're on right now. Yeah, and I can moonwalk, but I can't do it in regular shoes no. like he did. That was unbelievable, dude. And he had a lot of groundbreaking videos. He did. Uh, Bad was a great video. Smooth Criminal. Smooth Criminal. That's oh, another listen. mini movie. Okay. Basically, so. You know that that scene in Smooth Criminal where he leans forward? <laughs> yeah. That was done with nails in the floor. And he would be able to lock his shoes into them and lean down and stand back up. Oh, man. Yeah. Uh, Michael it, Jackson it, had some of the best videos. He really, he really, really did, guys. Ever made. So I'll tell you another cool video, just thinking, um, uh, that was kind of cool the way it was done because it was animated. And that mm-hmm. was, again... One of my favorite Tom Petty songs, Running Down a Dream. That is a really cool video. Yeah. Okay, so you talk about Tom Petty, Running Down a Dream. Uh, do you remember uh, he, he had one with the Heartbreakers that he did in, I think, 85 off of uh, the Plantation album? Uh, Don't Come Around Here No More. Mm-hmm. Great song. Yeah, and the video was trippy, man. It was yeah. it was really really good. It was a real psychedelic. Guys, look if y'all have never really checked out Tom Petty's music, it's it's really 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 good music to just sit around and listen to. Great yeah. music. Good Maybe, stuff. What do you got, video wise? Video. Uh, you know what, man? I've got to go with Jump by Van Halen <laughs> because it was such just a cheap video. And there it is, yeah. the Van Halen reference. Yeah, you're gonna get. A, you're probably gonna get two on this one too, yeah. because off that same album, there was another great video, and I'll let you 
Tell us what that is. Uh, hot for teacher. Hot for teacher. Great video. It's you know I what? Still Dave, crack I, up. I, crack I think up. a lot of that had to do with David Lee. I it think did. that was a lot of his. That was his a lot deal. of his stuff. Uh, but they were hilarious and good. And you know when when the teacher gets up in front of the class. Yeah. And all of a sudden she the the music kicks and, and she Chris rips has an up. eye for the ladies. That's I do right. have an yeah. eye for the ladies. And yeah. she, you know she's got on the teacher of the year sash yeah. and a bikini. Yeah. You can't beat that. I mean, that's just—I mean, that's quality entertainment that's, right there. That, that's just quality <laughs> entertainment, kids. That—that's just good writing. That's just good writing. For all you ladies um, out there, I love y'all. Here's uh, and you talk about okay. So if we're going to talk music videos, and, and we got to bring up David Lee Roth when he released his solo album. Yep, I know exactly what video this is. Some great videos off there. Yep. And Yankee Rose. Yankee Rose was good. Very good. And that at the time, they were rebuilding or refurbishing the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. And that's what that song's about. Yeah. Yankee Rose is the Statue of Liberty, uh, which was really cool, and it coincided. I thought you were going to say California Girls. That's another funny one. <laughs> that's another funny one. Uh, but he had... Uh, uh, if, if, if you look it up on YouTube, if you, David Lee Roth a actually donut in a bottle of anything to go, to go. David Lee Roth. If, if you look for this video, he, he actually critiques. It's somewhere on YouTube. I, I, if I can find it, I'm gonna put it in the show notes for this episode. But he talks about uh, his '80s videos, and he's very kind of self depreciating on all of the the fashion choices. <laughs> oh, they were fantastic! Though. That, they just that, fit. Yeah, they that, just they, fit. It, it it was just the 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 time that it was. Um, got any others that you? Yeah, think I mean, of? there's there's a bunch right off the top of my head. I mean, I knew you were fixed to say that. I'm just sitting there going, I got to come up with another video, and and you know. Um, I had one in my head a while ago, and I've lost it. So you have another one? And I another do. Thing? Because uh, as soon as you start talking, I'll remember. Because it. it's an iconic <laughs> video uh, from around 84, 83 or 84, and that was Cindy Lauper, Girls Just Want to Have Fun. Now, whether you like the song or not. I love the song. I, I don't know what video, it is about that, about Cindy Lauper. And first of, all, she, first of all, she's underrated as a singer. I think so, too. I do. Uh, and if I mean, if you listen to her more, like I said, uh, it, Stuff that's not just pop type music. Yep. She is a phenomenal vocalist. She really is. Uh, so. If you mention that, you've got to mention the "We Are the World" video that came out. That Listen, was that was huge, wasn't it? It was incredible. Okay, so let me tell you. Uh, you know, the, the the "We Are the World" video was like a a gathering of anybody that was in big in music at the time took part in this, except for Prince. Uh, that's a different story. That's a different Prince story. A bad man. He's a bad man. Oh, listen. <laughs> Prince yeah. a bad man. He's a bad man. I, don't get it messed up, children. Don't get it messed Prince, up. Prince probably the greatest musician of our generation. Listen, our era, era. Let me. Okay, so let's go ahead and chase that. Do you remember that Super Bowl halftime show he did probably 20 years yes. ago? Yes. It was a pouring rainstorm. Yes. At halftime. I'm surprised they didn't cancel it, but he comes out there. And he does what I think to this day is the best halftime show that's ever been done by a Super Bowl. You mean not Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake with the wardrobe malfunction? Uh, <laughs> I mean, no. What I'm talking about is talent. That's what I'm um, I, was, I was watching the head with a big group of people. And I went, did, hey, did, 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 did you see, just what? see what happened? Oh, and, and listen, don't get it messed up, people. I think some of Janet Jackson's stuff is amazing. Oh, but yeah, I'm me too. I'm talking about me too, but performance that was, wise. I don't know why they did that, but, but they did the it. The video for When Doves Cry. <laughs> Unbelievable! That that Purple, that Purple Rain. Rain album is Purple Rain is untouchable. Un, the movie untouchable. is great. Yeah, I mean, you uh, get not only Prince and the Revolution, but you get Morris Day and the Time in the same movie. That's yes, quality entertainment. That I don't is quality care. entertainment, folks. <laughs> I don't care who you are. And so that I, th I think I have to say, I know you don't care for them much, but I think that they were a vital part of of, of the '80s, and I've actually gotten to appreciate them quite a bit. Is I think the Hungry Like the Wolf video by Duran Duran. Uh, it's a cool video. I'm not gonna lie to you. It is a cool video. Yeah, but dude, they did great. Listen, I can't understand. I don't. I still don't understand. I, Duran Duran. It's, it's okay, dude. <laughs> like we said, 
like we said on an earlier episode, like what you like, don't like what you don't like, and you're not going to get anything Absolutely. from me on that. I know that. Uh, I may so, give you a little. I may give you a little. But <laughs> listen, Duran uh, Duran, you got to give them credit that they were the first one. Because MTV was released in 81, and honestly, they started with what was called promo reels. Uh, that they, I don't know what that is. They, that, well, they would shoot them for record companies to just kind of get an idea of the of the music. They were never meant for really public oh, oh, consumption. Oh, oh, I know. It, it, it almost like a demo tape, but yeah, a video it's like a version. demo tape, but a video I got version. You, I got you. Okay. So, like that, that first, like when MTV first launched, like a lot of them were concert videos, you know. And stuff like it. So, but but Duran Duran was the first one that kind of went. Well, let's tell a story and do it in a very stylistic. And like this is eighty two, like a year later, they're doing things like Hungry Like the Wolf and Rio, you know, which were groundbreaking videos in a way. So very cool, very yeah, cool videos. Um, I was trying to think of another uh, Van Halen video because that was big. Van oh, Halen, was yeah, huge. Van Halen was big. Um, uh, you mentioned one the other day for Dreams that was just the Blue Angels. Oh man, that Isn't it? dude, you put planes and Van Halen in a, in a music video, and I'm in. I, I mean, I, I can't help myself. Yep, I cannot help myself. And the Blue Angels, that's another. That's another group. Yeah. <laughs> if you ever get a chance to go see them, incredible they're, show. They're dude. coming to an Air Force base near you. <laughs> um, <laughs> At an air show. Uh, but you talk about Van Halen videos, Panama. Yes. Yeah, another good one. Yep. But, uh, I'm, but I'm going to go ahead and give you my favorite Van Halen video ever. What? And they, they didn't release it as a video because they started playing it on VH1 like 20 years after. After the fact? And Yes. And that was their uh, version of Unchained that they had recorded. I've live, never seen that. I would live, like to see it. Uh, live at uh, the uh, Oakland Bowl in 1981. And it was just an amazing show. Uh, folks, uh, you got another one? I was just going to say, just, just, for, just, just, for, out, just for all you uh, trivia fans out there, in case you don't know, the very first video that was ever played on MTV mm -hmm. was by a group called The Buggles. Yeah. And it was Video Killed the Radio Star. Yep. So there's your trivial pursuit question. There's your trivial. If you don't know that. If you did know that, then, you know, you're in the know. Then you're in the know. <laughs> Hey, guys, thanks for joining us. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane as we uh, looked at, uh, at at MTV in the 80s and some of our favorite videos. Uh, and I, we missed a lot. I'm sure we missed a lot of videos. No, I'm I sure just, we did. There's no way we could hit them up. We're, we're old, and I can't remember stuff that was really cool yesterday, yeah. much less 35, 40 years ago. But uh, listen, guys, RetroShow.net is where you go to get all of the info on the show. You can be a producer, and for $3 a month, you can help support the podcast. You can also uh, pretty much bet that this particular video is going to be a Spotify-enhanced video, meaning that podcast, if... Podcast, not video. Uh, There's no video evidence of this. Oh, so. that's true. That's true. <laughs> what are you... What are I you, mean, what I'm so you, tired. What are you uh, saying? Listen, guys, uh, just, just just to look behind the scenes, we have recorded three of these tonight. It is... It is like... It's 10 o'clock at night, which for a 50-something-year-old guy... I've yawned like four times uh, in this episode. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> we're tarred. <laughs> we're just tarred. Uh, but, yeah, the uh, but if you want to uh, watch on Sp uh, watch. <laughs> Spotify will have an enhanced There's version. There's no video. There's evidence. no video. Uh, Spotify <laughs> will have an enhanced version of this podcast because I'll put it together. And basically, any, any music that we mention uh, in this podcast, particular podcast you will also have, have a playlist yeah you better, I, I, have, you better have i'm one. gonna have rocket <laughs> Rock, dude, dude that, rocket's I, gonna be on be there to the ceiling too when it rocket comes on, is man. gonna be on there don't you worry about it man we i got you dude <laughs> hey guys amf hey listen love all of you yeah. i like a couple of you go out and make your day people thanks for listening and come back next time yep